SBC Media. Welcome to the iGaming Daily podcast, analysing the news from the betting and gaming industry all over the globe. Supported by Optimove, the number one CRM marketing solution for the iGaming market. Hello and welcome to the latest episode of iGaming Daily, where we are in Lisbon and we are actually sat in the stadium of Benfica, which is actually the stadium light, I only just realised, not the uh, Sundland version, but the, the Portuguese version. And I'm joined by Cara Christie, the senior events executive, who is pretty much the brains and operations behind SPC Championship, which we're going to talk about today. Cara, thank you for joining us on the podcast. How are you doing? I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have you on. I've been trying to get more people in the company on the podcast and you've been kind of top of the list that we want to get on, certainly with the championship coming up. I don't know how much I believe that, but <laughs> it is nice to get events on the podcast mm -hmm. and talk about operational sides of things. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I um, do believe it. I, I do try and get you on. <laughs> um, because I, you just mentioned it, the events is such, they're so huge and everyone sees everything once it's finished, but the logistical side of them, everything in the background yeah. really goes under the, like, under, the, under the carpet pretty much. So to kind of get you front and centre now, because we're going to talk about the logistics of setting up the championship. Yep. You've run this from its time when it was moved from Stamford Bridge to um, Real Sociedad in Barcelona. You started at Real Sociedad um, and you've done it for the past two years there and then came over to Benfica. Yep. So I think first off, I'll probably just ask you, what's the different challenges? I think the different challenges is once you're used to a stadium and how things are run and what you can do there, mm -hmm. it kind of just rolls off your tongue. It's in your mind, you know everything. Mm -hmm. Moving to a new stadium and have in a new country as well, it's completely different. You have mm. to relearn everything, see what is right, and it's building a new contact with that stadium as well, yeah. which can be challenging. Um, I also think the crowd is different. There yeah. is a lot of interest in the SBC Football Championships, and because we are getting bigger and bigger, I think with Lisbon and how big our show is here, yeah. it is a bit more of a challenge to try and yeah. organise in what small time that we do have to mm. organise it. Um, even though we do plan for months, mm -hmm. by the time it starts getting rolled out, so I think the biggest challenge is <laughs> talking to people <laughs> and trying to adapt to a new venue. Yeah, no, definitely. And you, you've got a few premium sponsors uh, this year. You have Monotech and you have Amusenet. For the listeners out there, we do have interviews with people from Monotech and Amusenet in the second half of the show, so make sure you tune in after the break for that. But we're going to stick with uh, Kara at the moment. You said some of the biggest challenges is kind of like f making these new contacts in, in, in a new area. Well, was Benfica always target number one for you? Because Portugal have like the two... But Lisbon itself has two huge teams in mm -hmm. Benfica and Sport in Lisbon. Sorry, Ben I'm a sporting Lisbon fan. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I had to choose one, it'd be Lisbon. But like, sat in the stadium now, we're literally looking out and there's yeah. the turf, like some huge names have like, played here. Like, it is a beautiful stadium as is. well. But was Benfica always number one for you? Or? We did have a list and unfortunately it always falls on availability yeah. um, around our show. Um, and yeah, we've gone for Benfica. Yeah, I think they, they were playing away this weekend. Yeah, so they're you, playing away today. Today. Yeah, I was at the Sporting Lisbon game yesterday, so that's kind of how I knew, like, one, one's at home, one's away, kind of <laughs> rotates that way. Um, but let's talk about this event then, so let's yep. talk about logistics. Take me from, and we've got, like, a few minutes here, so you don't have to go too yeah, in-depth, but we take us from the start of planning this and kind of the process you go through each step to come to a, the, the final play day kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, I think... The kickoff, shall we say. Yeah, the kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the biggest thing is reflecting back on things that didn't work well or things that we can improve from last year. So mm. that's why I always look at first, what do I want to be different? And then I kind of just work from there. Um, mm. And yeah, it's just making sure that we have everything that we think that our guests, our clients and our players want, mm -hmm. as well as spectators, like getting them to come and stuff. That is probably the hardest point because it is such a busy week and yeah. most people do fly in on the Monday. Um, it's just doing things that we think can bring them in. Yeah, I think it then gets a little bit tricky when it comes to organising the teams because everyone has such different skilled levels and we do want all the teams to be fair. So it's like moving mm -hmm. them around into teams. And obviously we have our sponsored teams as well. And just getting that communicated, obviously collecting 200 shirt sizes is a little <laughs> bit difficult, but we do manage to do it. Um, yeah, it's 
it's I wouldn't say it's quite easy to organize but definitely out of the week this is my favorite thing to organize <laughs> well I'll say on the shirt sizes I'm currently wearing the uh the Benfica away top so yeah everyone's you've got, you've, after you've, the you've, Benfica away top you've got the size correct it's fine it fits perfect <laughs> so well done you've got a special guest coming yep Nuno Gomez yeah big Portuguese name which is cool yeah how'd you manage to get him on board so we was just we actually had a list of players that we did want do not ask me to name any <laughs> I don't know let me guess uh, Luis Figo you wanted you wanted she probably wanted Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people did message me saying can we get Cristiano Ronaldo and I was like I don't think I have the ability to do that I don't think he's going to want to come and help me all, all the funds yeah but um, yeah so I just asked around and did a bit of research on players ex-players that we think um, would be really an icon we have so many icons and legends coming to yeah. the show so I was like we need someone for here um, and then just going back and forth with the stadium to try and see who's available and then it went a week silence and then I got a call saying you know Gomez is going to be there and I was like that's awesome. That is awesome. So I think that's really exciting. And yeah. I think that's a great surprise for everyone hey, as well. Blackburn Rovers legend, that one. <laughs> He's a legend for Rovers. Um, and another thing you've got, because I don't think we heard the uh, the bird while we've been live, but we did no. hear a few to him or her, I don't know what it is. Um, you have an Eagle show, yeah. which is iconic for Benfica. And... I remember. There he is. Yeah. If you can it, hear him. It freaks me out. I actually have a phobia of birds. Really? So having to organise an eagle flight is has not been the highlight of my, my year. See, I, I love it because when... A little story, because when FC United, who they were a breakaway team from Manchester United, when the Glazers took over... When they opened their new stadium, it was about five, ten minutes away from my parents' house. Okay. So we went to the opening of that stadium, and it was the Benfica under-18s team. So they did the Eagle show yep, in New no. Moston. So. I would collapse. I, <laughs> birds freak me out. But I'm surprised that Eagle survived New Moston. I'm not going to lie. It's really exciting, though. He does seem cool. He, it does actually sit in the shop really? during the day. I walked into the shop, didn't realise he was there, and... Just chills like, there all day. Just chills there. There's no one standing <laughs> next to him or her. <laughs> just chilling there. So if yeah. anyone does want to ever see the Eagle, definitely go to the Benfica official store by the stadium. I'm, I'm definitely doing that after this show. <laughs> a little bit of a plug there. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be cool. Perfect. We're going to round off to the break because like I said, yeah. we've got um, a Musion at a Monotech in the second half. But championships, they've already kicked off. It's already happening. Yeah. Um, what's your aim for next season? Not for the next event. I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm really excited um, to see what people's reactions were to how us doing it here at Benfica. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, I like to reflect on other things and see what we can change and what people are expecting. I'm hoping to make it a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Whether I'm able to do that, we don't know. (laughs) I will have to ask the gods above. Um, But yeah, I want to make it bigger. I want to implement maybe some other ideas I think will just attract people more to it because it is a fun day. It is a really fun day. People really enjoy it. If anyone's interested in sponsoring next year or even becoming a player, do give me a shout on LinkedIn. Perfect. I'm going to round off this half of the podcast. That eagle sounds like it's getting ever closer. And you're fine. <laughs> you just told me about your phobia. I'm a little bit shaky. <laughs> you're a little nervous now. Yeah, so we're going to round up. Uh, stay tuned off the break because I'm going to head over to the pitch itself and talk to Monotech and Amusenet. SBC Leaders connects the gambling industry's top-tier operators and associations to share the best ideas, collaborate on solving the biggest issues, and push innovation throughout the betting and gaming industry. If you're an operator and want to join the discussion, visit sbcleaders.com for more information. Hello, welcome back to the iGaming Daily podcast. I'm here at the SBC Championship still, and I'm joined by Nicola Georgie Georgiev. Georgiev, sorry, apologies from Amusenet. We've just come off the pitch. We're absolutely uh, knackered, let's say. Yeah. <laughs> He's in our house. First, first game is over, three points. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but... No, you, uh, you, dominated, you, you dominated us on the pitch, so fair play to that one. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, man. But we're here because Championships is kind of the uh, the kickoff to SPC Summit Lisbon, or SPC Summit, and you are you are one of the main sponsors of the Championship as well. Um, it's a great event. Um, first off, how are you liking Lisbon? Different change from Barcelona now? Yes, completely different. New country. <laughs> the, actually, the, it's my first time here. Same, Lisbon, same. So it's really, I'm really excited. 
to go around to see the city to prepare very well for the exhibition this week and good start with the football uh, tournament yeah. we are actually sponsor for a third uh, consecutive year yep. we really love the <laughs> event that you are organizing you know last two years it was in uh, Espanyol Stadium now the new one Benfica yeah that's why we let you win on the pitch by the way yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went to ease on you because it's two years and I'm yeah. very sponsored <laughs> um, and like I said you, you three years in a row why why, do you, why is this championship such a big alert to you why is it something that you keep coming back to in the beginning this is an amazing uh, event I mean a part of the business it's something that uh, it's you know, physical activity that you can mm-hmm. do play uh, against each other and you know most of our well, also friends, yeah. uh, colleagues or partners and to, to be able to share the football pitch uh, with your friends is really good before yeah. the, the event. So it's different thing and I believe it's yeah. really valuable for all of the people that participate every year. Yeah, and amusing that you've got big plans this year for SPC Summer. I've been in a few communications with you about other things that we're going to do at the event. Um, as a sneak peek to the listeners, keep your ear out for that one, I'll show you it. But You've got big plans. Can you just tell us a bit about what you've got ahead for SPC Summit this week? Oh, first of all, we would like to meet all our partners that are, are coming to Lisbon for SBC Summit. Also to, pre- to present our new product, products, to uh, present our in, our new projects in the near future that yep. uh, we are developing now. And that's it for a good business. Yeah. And rumor has it you've got a lot. You got a Portuguese celebrity coming to the stand this week. Yes, we have a, one really popular uh, streamer, influencer mm-hmm. that's yeah. going to be at our boot so stop by and <laughs> we also going to have a couple of awards for the for the clients for the partners so you can come and play on the games so eventually well, <laughs> you, you can win something big i'll definitely be coming as a twitch affiliate myself i'm going to uh, tap into your your uh, local celebrity and try and get some tips on how to get bigger on yeah. that one. <laughs> oh no nicola thank you for joining us for this quick conversation um and i won't see you out on the pitch anymore because we've just played <laughs> each other so thankfully <laughs> you didn't leave any marks on me so it was all right yeah, no, no. <laughs> only fair but, play man <laughs> yeah. tomorrow we need to work <laughs> <laughs> we need to walk around a big yeah, conference yeah. hall um, but no have a good rest of the tournament have a good week and um thank, thank you for having yeah, me thank, thank you for coming on the podcast thank you okay i'm joined by Hey, Slava, the head of commercial at Monotech. Um, we've just finished the game. I'm out of breath. I played all right in the second half. <laughs> um, but we just beat you 1-0. So that's my bragging right right there. <laughs> yeah, it was actually a good game. Yeah, it was pretty close from both sides. So, yeah, uh, it was pretty interesting. We still have one more to play. You do, I think, yeah. I think you as well, right? Yeah, we've got one as well. But it was a hard game. I'm not going to lie, it was tight. <laughs> I really hope that, like, the luck will be on our side and, uh, yeah. I think you still got to score next one. Yeah, I think we lost the first game. We won against. We just won against Hughes. Did you win your first game? Or? No, we played against Clever. Those guys are really good. <laughs> yeah, certainly good, aren't they? Clever. They're clever at football, shall we say? Yeah, yeah that's um, true. But no, I've got you here because Monotech. They're obviously the sponsor of the championship. We're here in Lisbon. It's the first time in yeah. Lisbon. Um, first off, what do you think of the championships? What kind of made Monotech? You know be the premier sponsor of this tournament um, like speaking about premier sponsorship well I think it's all about you know the participation having fun and yeah of course trying to show ourselves and just yeah. to you know spend some quality of time because actually uh, yeah it's pretty fun there is a lot of teams uh, the weather is great like yeah, yeah we're playing on a great field here on the Benfica Stadium so yeah it's it's really fun yeah, it is really enjoying <laughs> One thing I love about the championship is, and it's happened every year, and I've played, I've played in most of them, is it's that gateway to the actual event itself. And the whole event is about meeting people, you know, building those communications and, you know, just the whole industry coming together. What better way to do that than on a football pitch? Like, yeah, yeah, 5v5. Yeah. yeah, it's actually true, yeah. And there is a lot of uh, good, like, good people, good teams. Um, yeah, it's really great to be here. And yeah. it's also, yeah, an honor to be a main sponsor of the event. Like, yeah, it's the first time this year. I think we decided to go for uh, such a big sponsorship mm-hmm. in general for SBC and the football tournament as well and yeah it's really fun yeah I know it is and like I said this is kind of the gateway now to the SBC Summit this week um, Monotech you've got a bit you know you're out here in full force what have you got planned for the week for us to kind of look forward to for the listeners uh, actually like it's going to be incredibly busy like we are incredibly busy our booth is uh, in the middle of uh, second hall I think like B348 like mm-hmm. our stand I think 384 yeah, yeah. Uh, is uh, our booth like 
I'm not sure about the rest of the team, but I have all three days like completely booked, like completely booked <laughs> for some meetings. Uh, I don't know, it's gonna be insane. And the side events also this year are just amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. there's gonna be plenty of parties and uh, yeah, and gatherings and networking dinners, uh, like a lot of interesting stuff. Really, I don't know. I'm sending half of the team of like on uh, one event, me myself <laughs> joining another event, and you know, all just for us to like to gain maximum from it. Yeah. You know. No, you will, and you know, it's like I said, it's good to start the championship. Um, I will no doubt see you throughout the week. We'll have a drink later on as well tonight to celebrate the championship. <laughs> yeah, we'll be happy to. <laughs> but no, thank you for joining us on the podcast today, yeah, and have thanks. a great week yeah, as well. Thanks for reigning, Christians. Thank you for listening to today's iGaming Daily podcast, supported by Optimove, the number one CRM marketing solution for the iGaming market. If you want to find out more about some of the subjects raised today, feel free to explore any of the sites in the SBC News Network or check out the latest edition of the SBC Leaders magazine. Happy reading.